Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick Girls season series. Everything finale latching Ben, Grace, Brett, Alonzo. Uh, so y'all were uh, naysaying a little before we got started here. Yeah, I spent more of this episode than any previous episode saying out loud to the television, I fucking hate this girl. Yeah, wait, me too. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's that was pretty much my reaction towards the end where I saw how they were gonna tie it up, I liked it. But what I was saying to you guys before we got started was I think I may choose to remember the second to last ever episode as the series finale because they did such a great job of tying things up neatly. Now, having read some explanations from Lena Dunham and from the, the people that worked on the show, they didn't want it to be a perfectly neat tie up uh, series finale. So I do respect that and uh, I, there were some moments in this episode that I really liked, but I was frustrated with disliking Hannah for a great well, deal of this episode. But you're supposed to dislike I Hannah. Know. Yeah, that's the thing about Hannah. I thought this season was an A++. I would give it a 100. I don't think you can make better television. I thought the eighth episode was one of the five best television episodes I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Where uh, Adam and, and Hannah are in the park and they have that that conversation about the uh, about the little sleepover. Like about mm -hmm. how she's trying to explain the, mm -hmm. the feeling te hesitant about pregnancy the same way that you're afraid to go to your first sleepover. They find something that that works. And I and I just thought if I'd written that, I would finally not feel like shame that I am have not fulfilled Herman Mankiewicz's legacy. Like I was like, <laughs> I was like, like that's a scene that I could, I could, I'd be like, no, I wrote that scene. I'm done. I figured this out. I figured this thing out. So I don't know. I, I hear you. It was the, the eighth and ninth episodes were... More viscerally satisfying, mm -hmm. but ultimately, I think that they. Um, and I, I heard them talk about the the finale before it was done, like six weeks ago. Jenny Connor and Lena Dunham, and clearly, they 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 didn't want you to feel sad. I don't think that was my interpretation. They didn't want you to feel completely satisfied because the point of girls is that, in one of the points, is that it is always. Somewhat unsatisfied. It's an yeah. I think the, the the idea of the show is that growing up is an ongoing process, and I think at least now they're starting it. You know, after putting it off for as long as possible. And yeah, I, I we I think we talked earlier in the season that this was not a show that you wanted to see all sort of tied up in a neat bow with a perfect catharsis. And I I really thought this was very gracefully done because on the one hand you have. Uh, you have uh, uh, Hannah making her way toward adulthood by finally putting somebody else's needs before hers. But at the same time, you have Marnie heading toward adulthood by figuring out a way to put her needs first without being monstrous about it. Yeah, and I really did like that choice of having Hannah and Marnie sort of as an old married couple in this house together. Um, because I, I think I read an explanation somewhere that basically was saying that not everyone that is that, that comes into your journey will be on your journey with you forever, but some people will. Sometimes you do have lifelong yeah. friends, but not all of your friends at every juncture in your life will be that. And I think choosing that Marnie and Hannah will ostensibly be lifelong friends in some sense of the word. Now oh, they, I think they unquestionably will. Right, yeah, but yeah, that, yeah. that Shosh wouldn't be and that um, Jessa, Jessa, Jessa might, might, might or might, or might not, not be. Right. I think that was a really smart choice. But I, I think also if the show had ended with, oh look, Hannah's a mom now <laughs> and she gets it and now she's a woman. That's like saying, oh, Donald Trump blew something up, now he's president. Mm -hmm. You know, And so I, I think the idea that you could have both of these girls becoming women in two completely diametrically opposed ways that both make sense for their characters and make sense as viable life paths, it, the show is not doesn't have to come down and endorse it, well, this is how you do it. It's like, no, you could do it this way or you could do it that way or you could do it, you know, Shosh's way or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm you know. Shosh with this whole group of people where it's like, oh, any given experience I had with them could have been pleasurable, even if it's in the way that you describe where you're not supposed to like them, it was meta enough for me to where they were commenting mm -hmm. on how ridiculous they were being and immature and whatnot. But Usually I only feel this way about series I binge watch. Like series where you watch a bunch of them in a row and the kind of central dynamic is one that kind of makes you feel uncomfortable. And I only feel, it'll, it's only like the fourth episode I've watched in a row. Like uh, Maria Bamford, Lady Dynamite. Lady Dynamite. Lady Dynamite. I can watch one and a half episodes and I'm fucking done. I, it's too much, <laughs> it's really intense. Girls, like I'm watching one a week. 
But still, they piss me off so much that on any given week, I'm just like, I can't even get through the first 15 minutes of it. I hear but you. I do understand the, the, yeah. the statement that they're but, making. But I mean, about it's interesting. It. I mean, you know, like all that nonsense talk about sex in the city and, and people say, oh, I'm a Carrie or Samantha or whatever. Here, it's, it really is it's more interesting here. Like when you say, I'm It Shosh. is more interesting. Yeah, it's way, sure. like, like, and I would say, yeah, okay. And you're only a show from last week's comment. You're not a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just right, from but, last but week's. But to me, I'd be like, I thought, I, I get it. What show shed was, what show sh Show shed, that By is the sure. You just moved to the right. after it. Right. You got right. it, That's you right. got right. it. Uh, what shows That shows thing that happened that came out of that girl's <laughs> mouth. Yes. Um, yeah. Was correct, but, but she denies history. And you ought not deny history. So it's understandable to feel that way. So that's why I'm not. Like I, I would have been Marnie in that moment. I'd be like, no, 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 come on, come right. on. Even though Shosh probably correct and made the right decision for her. I love that they didn't give us Shosh and Ray, which I was so certain about because I've watched so much, I've watched so much television <laughs> um, that I just, I'm trained for that. We all are, everybody. Yeah. And then, and not only did I give it to us, they just like, Boom, not coming, yeah, right, <laughs> twice, like bam, they're with them and you have to hit yourself for real, it doesn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, uh, um, it stinks. Uh, the, uh, and then you, uh, and then not only they just blindside us with two things, Ray and the other girl, mm -hmm. who they connect in this right. beautiful, lovely way. And then you're like, this person we've never even seen before. But we yeah. like, from the little that we see of him, yeah. we think they seems, seems like, nice. like she made the right choice. Right. Yeah. They, he seems to respect her, they get along. And her great, that's that wonderful damn line about uh, there are girls out there with, this is from the- Nice TV. personalities yeah. and purses right. and purses. jobs. Per jobs and purses and nice personalities, right, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. Well, he's a guy with a job and a wallet. And, and a he'll hold her purse. Yeah. 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 Right, he'll, he'll hold he'll her definitely purse. definitely hold her purse. I, I love all that stuff. Yeah. I love the, because we all, I mean, I personally have gotten pulled into the idea that like, the romantic idea that somehow this group of people will work out because the universe brought us together. And for some people that works and for some people you just can't avoid it. I mean, we were saying Marnie and, and um, Hannah, they are together, but there are some folks who just kick out and go like, yeah, All right. right, right. It was yeah. great. It was and fun. It was totally. real. It and, wasn't if you, real and, fun. and if you look at like any show that has had a Muppet Babies version of of itself, it's like the central four characters have been friends their entire lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and it's like yeah, this one I think at least acknowledges the fact there is an ebb and flow of the people that you're close to. <laughs> I, I was watching the the sort of goodbye special that that HBO put together, and I forgot about a line that happens early on where Marnie says something to to Hannah about how like you're self involved, da, 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 and this is why you don't have any friends from preschool. Says <laughs> I do have friends. From preschool, it just happens we're not talking right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. I did think about you, <laughs> and you funny. said, "I hope." It, it, I think you said it, there's a possibility that the final episode will set up what could be its own show. I think you said something like that. Whereas, like, I would, I would probably check in every now and then on a show about. Hannah and Marnie raising a kid together in upstate New York. Like if she ends up having a relationship with the fitness instructor from Schenectady. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh right. Yeah. 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 Like I'm fine. This yeah. is your captain speaking. Yeah, yeah. the uh <laughs> Yeah, it's not masturbating if you're talking with video chat. With <laughs> I and I, I that that amazing scene between Hannah and her mother, where like Hannah just pours out all that awful, awful shit, and it's like you know, and the mother's like, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, and, and then that she turns around and 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 tosses the same thing onto that teenage girl. It's like, I'll I'll take that as a revelation. So, I'll take that as a learning right. moment. So so like mm -hmm. again, this is about girls. Like, and it turns out the girls, you're, it's not doesn't it's not kids. They're girls. Mom is a girl too, right? Mm -hmm. That was part of it, right? And so, but you see that maturity without giving us a moment. She didn't come home. She didn't hug them. She did significantly sit between them and then go get the baby herself. But they didn't give us any of that, I'm sorry, or anything. Right. Mm -hmm. And the mother who we know has, like, she proved it because what Hannah said to her mom was horrible, right? You know, at least, you know, maybe if I hadn't, you married a gay man and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and therefore I didn't see a functional family when she, in fact, did actually yeah. see in many ways a very functional family. They were lying the whole time. <laughs> they were lying about I guess. a thing that mattered to them, but I mean, they loved her and they loved right. each other. They're best friends, right. they yeah, even yeah, said yeah. it. That was and then line. I get it, difficult, challenging, not without things you would talk to a therapist about, but not horrible, right? And then, but when her when Hannah says that to her mom and stops out, her mom says, thanks for that baby girl, thanks, thanks. <laughs> and like her mom, because her mom's job is to be the mom. Mm -hmm. Like and not to explode back at her and not to make her feel terrible. But Hannah's a new kid and she's a new baby and she's stressed out about it. And her mom parented 
Like it was great. Yeah. And, and then Hannah parented. Like you, so she's still Hannah. She just had right. a baby, so she's still gonna do. She's and still gonna blame other people for things that are her fault. But she's, but she, but she is still moving forward. And that that marked when I really started to like this as a finale. Really, what seeing her mother react as a parent, and then we see Hannah's interaction with the girl. That when you see this uh, this you know girl running towards her, my immediate thought was like, there is a trauma. Like I, you know, the this incident. is something that was really. Great. There was an incident. <laughs> something really upsetting. And I thought that was a great reveal. It was very funny. Um, but I think having the mom in this episode was a great fit to just to, to show that you never really grow up. The mom is one of the girls, you know, right, and, yeah, yeah. and she she's gives, she gives advice to Marnie about what she could do with her life. But even she's like, I don't really know. Like, I'm not saying that I'm a beacon of being a, an amazing example for how to live a life. I'm just saying that I care. But at the same time, I think the, 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 there is this notion that like becoming a parent yourself, there is that weird cyclical nature where you suddenly have to step in and assume that role, and you're taking, you're bringing to it all the things that you learned from when you were the child. You know, I, I love the mother's line about how, oh, this is gonna get so much worse. You're gonna forget <laughs> so this. Whole yeah, just and Hannah says, <laughs> says like either I hope so or thank you for saying that. Like I mean, it's a, it's a, I don't know, man. I, I got it. I know why there'd be some objection to it, and that's founded and probably correct. But I, uh, I loved it, and I know you just sensed like uh, the same way with. Uh, uh, Mad Men, you know, where uh, where uh, Matt Weiner felt like he had the finale the whole time. I just felt like they knew that this was going to be about Hannah and her mom, but partly, you know, yeah. they knew it wasn't. They didn't decide right before this season. What if Hannah gets pregnant? <laughs> you know, like they had a they had a vision. I think yeah. it could have been. A, I don't know what school she's at. There's probably a house that was slightly less remote. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a good little <laughs> like, like, Top of little the hill. house on the prairie. <laughs> yeah, kind but of. she's not that far from the suburbs. Obviously, she walked back from where there were. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's just funny together. to see the house and be yeah. like, "Wow, that is the there." <laughs> it's like, like it's the days of heaven house or something. Anyway, I I thought it was fitting. I thought it was a nice uh, uh, button for the show, and it tonally felt appropriate for the way that the show tells stories. Yeah, I agree. It's just sometimes yeah, I get yeah. it. It's they're, just like No, they're annoying. Re, re, they're yeah, annoying. they're annoying. They're, they're but they're annoying. know it. But I yeah, did meant yeah. to be. I, I, and that's why I said it the way I did. I spent more of this episode saying out loud that I hate this person. And I have a fuse. Yeah. Yeah. And at, just when I checked, I checked out. I was like, "All right, I'm going to start playing Candy Crush." Oh, wait, what's <laughs> happening? But yeah, it gets you back, and I get that they're doing everything for a reason, and they're good reasons. It's just you have to watch the show differently than you watch other shows. You do have to watch. And it. in right. its, to its credit, like that doesn't happen very nope. often. No, they no. did something. They created something different in television. It's hard to do, and it's worth just quickly mentioning. I would, at least for my, that those four actresses are phenomenal. Yes. Like I mean, they just I mean that Jess's scene, that apology scene, oh, and yeah. the way they handled that. So that episode was great, and Adam and Hannah's scene, that whole episode, there were those were amazing. Those were like clinics. And, well, I think and, also and, the and, last and, shot of Lena in this episode was really, yep. that one really hit me. I wondered, as soon as I as the, then it re realized that was it, I wondered like how many, how many, I just, you know, I went to like, okay, good. Let's do one where you're like, Surprised, but pleased. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you know, now just stunned. You know, uh, I, I think I think we're going to see a lot of a lot of careers launch out of this show. I, totally, I think, yeah. and I think it's going to be a touchstone in terms of the way that other shows got described as well. It's like Sex in the City, but blah 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 blah. I think it, yes. it, we probably have. Already, I'm sure pitch meetings everywhere have been like, right. well, it's like girls, but. You know, with they're boys. on the moon. It's with you know. girls, but with boys. <laughs> but with boys, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I, we've we've not heard the last of a lot of these folks, I think. So uh, thank you for joining yeah, us on thanks. this uh, journey, and uh, we Sit will straight, catch Jesus. you on other shows. Bye.